My husband was the former mayor of El Paso, and he used to say that when uh, Juarez sneezes, El Paso was catching a cold. So uh, I want to thank you again, and uh, my question deals with health care. My husband was diagnosed with a brain disorder, the same one that afflicted Senator Dominici. And at 51, he did not have long-term care. And it was so devastating uh, that totally destroyed our finances. So I had to take him to uh, my uh, family's country home, which is Spain. I got to see firsthand uh, how social care was so much affordable. He was a fighter. Although it undermined his muscle, he lost his voice. I was able to provide better care for him in another country than in our own. And uh, so I want to know about your health care plan. How can be affordable? How can we change that? Why did I have to take him someplace else so he could die in a better place than in his own country? Thank you, and please accept the sympathy of all of us, and thank you for his service. I'm very grateful. Um, there is a health care crisis in America. We would be, if it were not for the energy crisis, we'd be talking a lot more about health care issues. And we have to reform health care in America, and we have to make insurance available and affordable for all Americans. I do not believe that that means a government-run health care system is the most efficient or what we need. And we need to have policies that encourage home health care as opposed to institutionalized care. And we need to treat people on an outcome basis so that don't pay for every test or every uh, procedure, every visit to the doctor, but treat them for a period of time and then pay that provider. Give, uh, there's, a, there's a program now for senior citizens that is, uh, that is not as wide as I'd like to see where it's called cash and counseling and seniors are given money every month and then they're able to decide how they want to pay for their, for their own health care. It's remarkable the savings that, that have been realized. But in cases like your husband where they're basically uninsurables, quote uninsurables, people with chronic diseases and such as the terrible affliction that, that befell your husband. Um, and I know he appreciated your love and care. But we should have what we call government approved plans so that we pool federal and state money together and establish wide risk pools so that there is affordable and available health insurance for people like you and your husband. We cannot leave the, quote, uninsurables or chronic disease uh, victims uh, without the access to care. And so it's going to have to be a federal and state uh, combination providing significant federal money from the federal government. And we are going to have to have that as a major part of health care reform because we can't allow any American, any American citizen, to experience what your husband experienced. And I'm sorry that it happened. And I, I please accept my deep sympathy and our prayers. I thank you for his service. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you, Senator McCain, for coming.